All right, what I'm doing is I'm going to show you videos of uh, past creations. Um, this first one will be of a piece that was untitled at first called Distant War Cries, eventually. Uh, here is uh, Sweetgrass that I'm still working on. I'm getting ready for a show in Tahoe, and I'm talking about uh, here basically getting the uh, clay um, out of the way so I can start this uh, new piece because I need more than uh, one clay for the uh, show in Tahoe that I'm about to do. This is back in uh, June of 2012. And I, I'm basically trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm thinking at the moment of doing a clay of a, oh, a young girl uh, combing her hair, but I really don't know. So here's my true form armature. It's the 18-inch uh, uh, figure that you can get from true form. And um, I'm just trying to figure out uh, what I'm going to do. Uh, just basically start moving the uh, armature, being careful uh, not to break uh, the uh, extremities because, like the legs and stuff like that, are uh, they, there's no wire going through the uh, the resin uh, leg bones, so you can break them if you aren't careful. And I'm basically just trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Not sure what I'm saying there. <laughs> The reason I'm uh, revisiting these older videos is because uh, I'm uh, working on a, another project which I can't video, or I am videoing, but uh, for a different purpose. And uh, this is just one of the uh, ideas I had f at first. Uh, I was going to have the figure laying on the ground or sitting on the ground. I'm just trying to work out the uh, design here. As I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do, I'm <clears throat> trying to visualize in my mind what I'm going to do. And uh, sometimes the visualization doesn't work out as well as uh, I would, was thinking in the first place. So one way to get started is just start and I drill a hole and put the end of the uh, aluminum wire foot into the hole or, or next to a screw that I've got in there and then I tape it to the screw to anchor it. Now I'm just trying different positions, uh, trying to visualize in my mind what I'm going to do drinking a diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I'm just working out of my mind different scenarios and I'm trying to visualize each scenario. And sometimes just adding clay gets started, gets you started, and uh, sometimes it don't. Okay, I've got his one arm up, and uh, what I'm thinking of doing is having a warrior who's taken a trophy, which is a, a hat, and he's putting it on his head, and he's taking out his uh, personal mirror, which... Uh, a lot of Native Americans would carry in their possible bag. And uh, he's trying to see how he looks in this hat. That's the idea that I'm working on at this moment.
and I'm just basically discussing, you know, the scenario, the story that might go with something like this. I still haven't come up with the uh, final idea. I'm still working on the uh, first ideas that never went anywhere. So I decided to just start adding clay. Just basically looking at the the balance of the overall design to see if uh, this one's going to work out. Somebody asked why I do so many Native American pieces. It's just because, for some reason, I've always been drawn to Native American culture, and uh, that's why I do it. If you're wondering what I'm looking at, <coughs> I'm kind of watching a movie while I'm working. <laughs> I've got a Blu-ray in my studio and I can watch movies. Basically start with the muscles of the leg. Um, I don't go into great detail on the muscles of the leg, but uh, at this point I don't know whether the Indian is going to be partially uh, unclothed, uh, wearing maybe just a loincloth. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So I'm basically just, uh, I'm probably actually looking at uh, my uh, reference material, which is a uh, full figure of a male with the muscles showing and all that stuff that you can get online. Uh, I think I've got a link to it in my video description below. Really don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm just basically... Uh, Just starting. Sometimes to tell a story, you have to start with that first paragraph, and this is uh, sort of like that first paragraph. All right, well, that's going to be it uh, for part one, and uh, I'll be back uh, tomorrow with part two.